Sony fires shots across the bow of Canon. Find out why coming up right now. What's up, photo freaks? Sony is now releasing the A7 III. So what we're gonna do today is go over the all the specs over it. Yes, I know a lot of you guys are out there are gonna complain because you want a true field test. Well, I don't have the camera yet, so you're gonna have to deal with it and get over it. Anyways, uh, so we're gonna go over that right now and uh, get all your crying out of your system. Now that that's done, let's move on to the specs of the a7 III. It really truly is fires, fi Sony fires shots across the bow of Canon because now with this camera, as you're gonna find out, they've got about four or five cameras that are out and a friend of mine was just saying the same thing that are literally better than camera, Canon's top tier cameras and most of the Nikons as well. So, what is in the a7 III? Uh, so they're going to have 24.3 megapixels, which is great. I actually prefer 24 megapixels. Uh, the 45 megapixel, 43 megapixels are nice, but it can be a little bit drawn out when it comes to editing and show a little bit too much detail. So 24.3 is nice, and it also adds to uh, battery life. So. If you're okay with 24.3, this is a good camera for you. Uh, it's gonna be the standard E-mount lenses. They have the Bion Z X image processor. And uh, so it's not the dual stacked processor with a DRAM, but it's still a, a, a very good processor. It has 693 point autofocus system. And in case you're wondering, I'm doing this newspaper style, news reporter style. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. The number of pixels, we went over that, 24.3. You're going to have a uh, battery life. It's going to be great. It's got the new battery. So instead of, I believe it was 315 shots, you're going to get 610 shots. Uh, that is with still images. If you're recording video, the... Uh, movie video actual recording according to sony is going to give you approximately no less than 115 minutes possibly you can get up to 125 so both are great and then if you're going to do continuous recording you can get 200 minutes so uh, all those are great i'm glad they put the new battery in and uh, they also are going to have let's see here i autofocus which is really good uh, I've been waiting for that. I love that feature, especially because I do weddings and uh, it's a great affordable camera and the fact that it has that is a huge benefit, especially for the price that you're paying. Uh, you're gonna get, uh, the viewfinder has 2,359,000 dots. So basically 2,360,000 dots on that viewfinder. So it's got a really nice viewfinder and the LCD screen, it's got 921,000 dots. So beautiful LCD screen and viewfinder. Uh, it's got the silent shooting, which that option is really good. Again, for weddings or photojournalism, that's really good. And then uh, overall, let's not forget the ISO and the frames per second. Uh, definitely love this. It's 204,000 ISO and 10 frames per second on the a7 III. That's crazy. This is so much better than the Canons and most of the Nikons. The fact that it gives you those things. I love the ISO on the a9, which is also 204,000 because it's, it's not as extensive as the a7S II uh, with the 400,000. Uh, but it's um, it has more than the 12 megapixels, 12 um, yeah megapixels. So uh, the fact that it has that good balance, I think, is great. Um, you're going to be able to get a lot of low light shots before you even have to start considering a flash. And then 10 frames a second, that's great for multi shots. 
Um, it's got five axis stabilization. The, uh, it's USB port is now type C and it's a weather seal design. Uh, it does shoot video in 4k. So this camera is awesome. It's right now, if you're looking at B and H, it's about $2,000, 1998. That's for body only. This camera is awesome. I actually just bought the a7 II for my son. And now I'm like kicking myself. Had I waited a few more months, I would have got this, but I had no idea that this was coming out. Um, it's a great camera. Um, I haven't tried it out. Oh, one more thing in the 4k, it does shoot an S log three. You have S log three. So let's see, let's go over this really quick. You got 24 megapixels. Uh, you got the Bion Z processor, which is still a very good processor. 693 autofocus points. Uh, it shoots in 4K, 30 frames per second. S log 3, 2.2 2 million, 360,000 uh, million dot for the OLED viewfinder. Awesome. Uh, three, three inch touchscreen. It is a touchscreen and uh, 922,000 dots, five axis stabilization. Uh, it's got ISO 204,000 and 10 frames a second, built-in Wi-Fi, the extended battery life because it takes a new battery, and it's got dual SD card slots, almost forgot that, and then the USB Type-C with the weather sealed design, all for 2,000 bucks. I think this is an awesome camera. I can't wait to test it out. Uh, haven't field tested it yet, but I've tried all the other Sony's. So this one in my mind is not going to be any different. It's only going to improve. And the fact that you're getting it for 2000, definitely something you're going to want to consider. So that's it for this update on the Sony a7 III. As soon as I get it in my hands, I'm definitely going to field test it. And uh, you guys will see firsthand uh, how it performs. But um, I expect nothing but uh, typical Sony excellence in their cameras. Now, one other thing I want to add, I'm not bashing uh, Canon. Uh, I'm actually a Canon guy. Growing up, I used a lot of Canons. And in about two weeks, I'm going to Arizona uh, to specifically to try out a lot of Canon stuff. They're having me up there. I'm gonna train with their stuff, see what they have going on, new, uh, some new cameras, whatever they have planned, I'm going to find out. So I'm not a pro Sony guy, I'm just trying to call it like I see it. And right now, Sony is leading the way and they're, they're seriously kicking some tail. So we'll see, hopefully Arizona works out. I'm really hoping Canon starts doing a little bit better. Nikon definitely up their game with the 850. Uh, so we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now and um, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.